What's going on gamers? Today, we're going to be going over how to install the Tekkit mod pack onto your device and your Apex server. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of every new tutorial we upload, just like this one. Tekkit is maybe one of the oldest and most well-known mod packs in the Minecraft community. The follow-up to Tekkit Classic. This mod pack consists of 101 mods in total and runs on Minecraft version 1.6.4. In this mod pack, you can venture out into space. Players can expect to automate ore collection and store insane amounts of materials, which will eventually lead to the player being able to whisk themselves onto asteroids and the next flight to Mars. This mod pack is best suited for a few close friends combining their resources and knowledge to reach the stars. The Tekken mod pack comes as one of our many pre-installed mod pack selections that you can install super easily and quickly onto your Apex server. We're going to be going through how you can install this not just onto your server but also onto your own computer and a few tips and tricks on how you can get started playing Tekken. To install on your server, the first thing you're going to need to do is hop onto your panel and once you're on your server panel, you can go ahead and stop your server. What you're looking for when you stop your server is an offline sign right here where this circle is. And what you're going to be looking for on the graph is 0% usage. Once it's there, you can scroll down to jar file selection and click on the drop down. This is going to change the version of your server. Just type in Tekkit or scroll up and down to find the Tekkit jar. Then go ahead and click it and then click on change version. And make sure to create a new world to avoid any errors. Then restart your server to make sure that it starts up in Tekken. Once your server is fully restarted and says online instead of offline, then you'll know that your server is fully ready to play on and you're good to play Tekken. To install Tekken onto your device, you're going to need to head to the Tekken website so that we can download the Tekkenic launcher. You're gonna go ahead and make sure that you select the launcher that's for your device. And today we're gonna be doing Windows. And once that is downloaded, make sure to click on the launcher and select where you'd like it to install. Then go ahead and click install and let it run. Now, when the app is opened up, go ahead and jump into mod packs and then search for Tekkit. Click on Tekkit and then press install. Once Tekkit is done installing, you can go ahead and press play on the bottom right or if you really like a good experience, then go ahead and click on launcher options that's at the top right. Then be sure to check how much RAM your device can use to Minecraft and research this on the internet and do it with caution. When you first spawn in, the gameplay is pretty similar to vanilla Minecraft. You start out with your wooden tools and you work your way up to an iron pickaxe. And once you're set with basic iron gear, you can begin to collect some new ores. When a mod pack has new ores, it usually has new items or features to go along with it. Meaning that if you take advantage of these new ores and the chances they present, you're going to have a lot of fun. New ores give you cool stuff like new gems, like the ruby, the sapphire, and the pyrido gems. They're found in their respective ore blocks, and when you find these, they can be used to forge new tools and new materials. And some of these can even have better sets than diamond, so it's definitely a worthy investment. Some other nice additions are copper, tin, and aluminum ores. Copper is often found at Y level 40 or above. And copper has a lot of uses in Galactic Craft and many other mods throughout Tekkit, such as Atomic Science, and thermal expansion. Tin is another main ore and it's usually found between Y level 35 to 50. This is used in similar mods as copper, finding use in thermal expansion, lacticraft, and mine factory reloaded. And finally, aluminum, the last base ore added by Galacticraft, is found between Y level 0 to 45. 
Aluminum is mainly used in Galactic Craft items, meaning it's used to make cool stuff like rockets and batteries. As you progress through the game, you're going to find that there are a lot of pathways to expand and to upgrade your tools. Once you've found the aforementioned gems, creating a set of tools is going to be the most logical step. But in late game, using modular power suits and redstone arsenal equipment is going to be an even greater option to perform basic tasks with greater speed. Items like the flux pickaxe can be powered up, providing a boost when the V keybind is pressed. This might be a hot take, but the best part of any mod pack is usually when you can live out your space millionaire dreams. And here, you can go to the moon on a rocket, you build, build a space station, and go to Mars or the moon. There are a lot of parts and machines required, so it might take some time to get it set up, but today, we're going to show you how you can get started. You're going to need the following items. A compressor, and a compressor is used to create the heavy duty plated items like compressed metal plate items that you're going to need for ship parts. It requires six aluminum, one copper, one anvil, and one basic wafer. The rest of the machines require power in order to function. This coal generator turns the coal into power and requires four iron, one furnace, one aluminum cable, and three copper. A fuel loader is used alongside the rocket launch pad to provide fuel to the rocket, an alternative to the coal generator. It requires five compressed steel, one tin canister, two compressed aluminum, and one basic wafer. But where the real magic happens is with a NASA workbench. It's used to actually build the rocket. It's like a different crafting table. It requires four compressed steel, one crafting table, two levers, one redstone torch, and one advanced wafer. Another item you may build is a refinery. A refinery is used to turn oil into usable rocket fuel. It's kind of like a coal generator, but this is with oil instead of coal. It requires two copper canisters, two stone, one furnace, and two compressed steel. To actually build a rocket, you're gonna see that it's a massive recipe and requires a lot of the pieces to fully construct. The rocket itself is made out of eight heavy duty plates, four rocket fins, one nose cone, and one rocket engine. We recommend using NEI. That's the menu that appears in the player inventory. You're also going to need a launch pad. It requires recompressed iron on top of three iron blocks. This is going to provide nine launch pads to place. Place them in a three by three spot in an open area and place the rocket on top of it. Once the launch pad is placed, the rocket is placed and your fuel loader is in place to the side. They're going to power it. Once you input your fuel, of course, you're also recommended to obtain some further items before departure, such as a parachute or any oxygen pieces you might need. Once you're ready, you can enter the rocket and press space to launch and head for the moon. The two notable dimensions that appear in this mod pack are the moon and Mars. As part of a galactic craft, the moon will be your first location you travel to with your tier one rocket. With dungeons and bosses, there's plenty to do here as you try and locate the schematics or for a tier two rocket. When you eventually create a tier two rocket, you're gonna be able to travel to Mars. This dimension is filled with dungeons, bosses, and dangerous mobs. Try and survive through here to succeed at finding greater treasures and create better rockets. The Tekken mod pack is a classic that's still fun to play eight years after its initial release. Despite it being on 1.6.4, the mods used can still be used on modern versions of Minecraft. If you enjoy exploring dimensions and traveling throughout space, this mod pack is definitely for you. Each mod has so many options and possibilities, so 
any player can easily begin playing their own way. Plus, it's easier to install than ever before. Well folks, that's all we've got for you today, and as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.